Um, as uh, we talked in the uh, last meeting, uh, the board uh, approved the resolution and the uh, uh, interlocal agreement to work with the city of Mesquite to uh, move forward and uh, work on getting the uh, uh, Washington, D.C. lobbyist uh, um, moving forward. Um, the city, um, at their last meeting last week, uh, approved um, three patent logs on board to um, replace the Fermi Group as their uh, representative. Uh, we've been working with uh, them and Aaron Baker and I have been working together on, on, on pulling that together. Um, and uh, we're recommending also to the board uh, that uh, we approve, or that you approve patent logs um, being our representative in the amount of $20,000 uh, to the district, which is roughly a $52,000 a year savings uh, to the family. So in, in the packet is the uh, proposed agreement with patent blogs. Uh, Eric uh, has reviewed that, and all his comments uh, have been included in here. Uh, uh, Vicki Cram from Patent Blogs has uh, looked at uh, this agreement, and she's been, uh, had no changes to it. And uh, Also attached to the agreement is our uh, proposed scope of work um, that you know, we've asked them to perform for us. So. Okay. Ms. Ellison? I have a question. Um, the city agreement that was signed with, or was approved for patent box also included um, $1,000 expenses per visit to Mesquite. This one approves $1,000 per visit to Mesquite. So if the, re if the representative from Patton Boggs comes here one time and speaks to both the city and the water district. Is that a total of $2,000, one from each entity? No, the, we'll we'll uh, split the cost on that. Okay, that's odd. I just wanted to get that clarified. But if they come <coughs> expressly to talk to the water district... I, I understand the, that, but right. if they combine a visit and speak to both entities, deal with both entities, I was curious how that expenses was going to be split. If the uh, representative does speak to both meetings, are you going to prorate that uh, $2,000 the same way you prorate the contract cost, or will it be an even split? Well, it, it, it it, if, they, if they come and speak at the, at, at, to both the city council and the board, in, in the single trip, it'll be $1,000 and it'll be split 50-50. It'll so be 500 per entity. Per entity, right. Okay. Is that a written agreement? I'm sorry? Is that, is that a written agreement to do that? Um, it's, it's, it's not specifically, uh, I believe it's specifically called out in our agreement with them. Uh, if I, I'll address <laughs> that. Um, I actually did add information in in the written agreement, that's part of the changes that I, I made to the agreement was to state that uh, if they were going to visit the city of Mesquite, they try to coordinate that with the city uh, so they could meet with them jointly and indicated that uh, if they were going to visit with both us, and with the district and the city in any given visit, that the cost would be capped at $1,000 and they'd be divided equally between the district and the city. So, so it that's is, it is written into the agreement. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. It's written into the agreement that the water district is signing. Do you know if it was written into the agreement that the city is signing? I haven't seen the, 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 the agreement the city signed. It will be? It will be. Okay, thanks. Okay. It is, right? It will be. Okay. There will be. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have a motion on that. Is there any comments? <coughs> comments? Okay, I'm looking for a Mr. President, I move to approve the district enter into an agreement with Patton Boggs um, to represent us um, our Washington, D.C. lobbyist in the annual amount of 20000 plus the uh, trip. And we to coordinate those with the city to uh, save expenses and uh, all our staff recommendations. Okay, I have a motion. Second. Uh, I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, raise the right hand. None opposed. That motion carries.